All right, let's give this another try. We live again? We're live. All right, we're gonna see if we can make it through this without it uh, disconnecting. So again, this is what, week two of the rut report? Week, week one? Man, my schedule's all messed up. So week one of the rut report, we did have a lot of people giving feedback, which was good. Um, looks like some people are seeing some deer and knocking some deer down. We actually had a friend of ours, uh, Lene Navarro, shot a buck. Uh, I believe it might have been her one of her first hunts in Oklahoma this week. So congratulations to Lene and everyone else out there that's having success. Um, I don't know if any, I don't know. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, friend of ours, Matt Cowell with Strutton Buck, actually shot a great moose uh, in Newfoundland. So, some people are starting to get on the board. Anyway, we're going to do the, the announce the weekly winner of the Rut Report giveaway. The weekly winner will get six cans of the new extra certified doe and estrus. And essentially, all that means is as the urine is collected by our provider before it ever gets shipped off to the cannery, it's actually going to a lab where they're actually testing it to ensure that there are estrogen hormones in the urine. So, it's the real deal. Estrogen hormones is exactly what the buck is keen on to try and decipher which which of those are receptive for breeding. So essentially that's what you want and it's in there. So we're going to give, out, give away six cans of these. I believe our winner was who, Tony? Why don't you tell us? Um, she forgot. <laughs> Put on the spot. <laughs> Philip Kate? That's right. Philip Kate. Philip Kate. Good job. There it is. So Philip Kate, if you'll reach out to us, shoot us a message so we can uh, get your address. We'll get six cans of the extra sent out to you. You'll be uh, one of our early early field testers. This, I'm pretty excited to see what the results are going to be uh, once people actually start getting out in the field, once the rut hits and see, see how the deer responds. And I'll be using it um, in my mock scrapes um, as we get closer to the rut. And I'd uh, be anxious to see what the results are. We had some people that used it last year. Um, and actually had people, I mean, limited limited uh, sample size, but we're getting some good feedback on good results. So be anxious to see more people get it out there and try it and see what their results are. So, so you mentioned extras is certified to have estrogen in it. I mean, how does that really make it different from other doan estruses out there? I mean, there's a lot of different people that have estrus urine. Well, as they were developing this, um, again, our, our our urine provider was actually working with um, a uh, veterinary uh, veterinary doctor um, to essentially come up with, come up with a a way to try and come up with the, with the most most potent estrogen out there. Um, so essentially, during the process of that, they were sending off other other estrus urines and per the lab test no other est estrus urines that they tested came back with any measurable levels of estrogen so as far as we know as of right now this is the only estrus scent that has been lab tested and again confirmed to have estrogen levels in there so what makes it different i mean again estrogen level is what estrogen hormones is what the buck is keying on as he's searching out for a, you know a receptive doe versus a, you know any other doe out there that's not in estrus yet so Essentially, the difference should be that this this should this should pique the curiosity of a buck during the rut because again he's he's trying to key in on a hot receptive doe and the estrogen markers is what signifies when that doe is in estrus. So uh, again, I mean, as far as we know, it, um, it's the only only estrus product on the market that has been confirmed by lab testing to contain estrogen. So should make a difference. We'll see as people start getting out there. Uh, Philip can be a, a, a good field tester for us. He's going to get six cans of it, so put her to use. Yeah, put them to use. So we will relaunch week two. Is that right, Tony? Am I on the schedule now? Week two of the uh, rut report tomorrow. We'll be back next Thursday. To announce week two's winner. We'll send out six more cans of e extras. I want to be clear. Oh, we oh, should also add that he gets a hat, so he'll right. get a buck bomb hat. Um, so, Philip, just want to be clear, you need to send us a message. Uh, we can't reach out to you from our, our buck bomb page directly, so if you'll just reach out, shoot us a message, uh, give us your address, which one of the buck bomb hats you, you want. We'll, we'll get that in the mail to you and get it out. Um, for the rest of you, for starting two week, week two, all you have to do is share the post that we'll be uh, posting up tomorrow. Obviously, we still want to hear everybody's, you know, 
details from the field. If you're killing things, seeing things, starting to find you know some rubs, some scrapes, we're probably, I mean, depending on where you're at, we're probably another week or two before the scrapes should start uh, showing up. So we're getting close. I mean, I'm a, I'm a month away from my trip to Illinois that I do every year. So getting the itch as, as the pre-rut you know, is getting closer by the day. So hopefully I would expect that we're going to start seeing more and more deer hitting the grounds each week as this rut report goes on. And obviously, I mean, pretty much it seems like that week of Halloween is kind of when it kicks off in the Midwest and guys really start seeing the big boys out, out moving, marking. So it's going to get exciting. The days are flying by. So each week I expect we're going to start seeing more and more, more and more people posted up their gripping grins so good luck to everybody as you get out this week i think me and tony are going to try and get out sunday maybe here in georgia if we don't get uh don't don't get stormed all over as nate approaches uh see if we can't get get something done on some public ground down here in georgia so again update us on what you're seeing obviously on your successes and we'll see you guys again next thursday